following contest is a K1 bout, matched at 60 kilograms to be fought over three two-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is age 17 and tonight is making his debut. Standing at 5 feet and 6 inches tall, proudly representing toe-to-toe, -to -toe, Finn Lambert! Alright, here we go. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He is age 16 and stands 5 feet and 11 inches tall. He proudly represents the Immortals, Kian Thomas! So Eugene, this is your grandson, is that right? Yep, that's right, Kian's my grandson. Um, as I say, he's, he's had a few fights, learning experiences, curves. He needs um, to listen a little bit more to his trainers, but I'm sure he'll get there. And they're at it right away. Each one trying to show his dominance over the other. I mean, really, Eugene, the, uh, the first round, first round, kind of a tester. Yeah. Or, or do you just go all out? Right. To be honest, I from when I first started, I've always been one for testing out my opponents, seeing what they've got. If you've got a good defense, there's no substitute for having a good defense. Then you, you you know what they've got. You know what they've got. Don't go in wild because when you go in wild, you're you you are you are playing into your opponents. Basically, you're gonna let yeah. your guard down. Yeah. Something's gonna slip. Yes. And you're gonna end up getting tagged. Yes. I mean, these lads are going at it pretty hard, right? Right out of the right out of the, the gates. Yeah. But you would have a different strategy, would you? Right. This is where I've always I've always said something. I've tried to talk to to, to Ken in the past and said. There's no substitute for a good defense. If you can stand in front and stop and are able to block, parry, check everything, you're watching. He's tiring himself out. When he's throwing stuff at you, he's tiring himself out. Pick your shots, make them count. Don't just throw wild. Because the simple fact is every shot that you throw, it's gonna zap you up a little bit of energy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. And if you get if you get through the onslaught, the initial onslaught, He's going to be. T he's, he's going to. Be, he's going to be tired. The guy in the blue now. Let's see. Oh, he staggered him. Yeah. See. There we go. Pick your shots. Lovely knee there from Kean. Lovely knee. So now, now go. Oh. Oh. Yes. He's learning. He's learning and he's listening. We saw him looking over at his corner. Ten seconds. Yeah. Now then, if you have a look. Kean's opponent, he's not quite as cocky as he was. Look, he's not coming forward the same. No. He's been hit, he's been hurt. Yeah, he's really slowed him down. He's... Our referee in there today is Elise from uh, oh, oh, IMT. Lovely, uh, lovely. Okay. And here we're back at it again. Kean just got caught with a lovely Superman punch to start with. Wow. Straight right hand to the head. But come back. It's come back well with the uh, low point. I mean, I guess, I guess, at the end of the day, Eugene, it's how many hours you put in the gym. Yep, and you've got to listen to your trainers. If your trainer has done five, 10, 15, 20 years, if he's had 50, 60, 70 fights, he's been there, he's seen it, he's done it. He knows what needs to be done. You know, that's the thing. The young fighters, they have to listen. Uh, I mean, it, it, it might be kind of difficult when you're in the heat of the battle. Yeah. But, but you when still you, have to listen. Yes, you have to listen. You have to listen. And it's, if you come from a fighting stock and your father, your grandfather, etc., etc., have been there and done it, you should listen to them because they know what, what you're talking about. Yeah. Years, maybe a hundred years experience. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fought in, I've, I've fought in, in the last six decades. Right. No, sorry, five decades, the last 50 years. Yeah. So you definitely know a thing or two. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 70s, 80s, 90s, O's, 10s, and the 20s. Yeah. So you're, you're nobody's packed lunch. No, 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 exactly. <laughs> right, so here we go. Here we go. We see Finn trying to respond. Right, this is the... Keen needs to improve his defense. His hands are too low. Nice. Stop. Seat. Finn's looking for it. Kian's return. Ten seconds. Only 
a few seconds left in this round here. Both lads are looking a little bit, I don't know if you say tired. Aggressive fighters, right. right? And it scares them a bit. As they get more experienced, they learn to, to, to cope and deal with it. Yeah. And the aggressive fighter usually gets found out at some point, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what it comes yeah. down. Yeah. You can only go so far on, on, on aggression. What was the complaint now from Kim? Yeah. yeah. Bad sign. He's, and when he punches his chin's up, he's sitting down. You gotta keep your chin down. Yeah. Yeah, he, he looks a little open. And then they, they concentrate on the hands. It should be hands and kicks or a knee coming in. They should be work, working them. It's all about having a good combination. Yes, it's the combination game. And, it's the combination. And would I say, would I be right, Eugene, by saying you can't be a one-trick pony? No, you can't be. You have you have to learn. You don't show all your tools from the from the get-go. Yeah. Right? You look, you suss, you see what they've got. You right. try different things. And then, if, it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you find that your kicking is working, you keep doing it until they find an answer. Then when they find an the answer, you change you, something you else. You swap it up. It's, yeah. It's almost like coming off with a front kick all the time, that yes. teep, but then oh. you change that teep into a roundhouse. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as the other guys figured out what you're doing, you, you, yes. you gotta swap it around, change it up a little bit. Yeah. So what we're looking here from Finn, He's still being quite he's, aggressive. He, yeah, yeah. I mean, he doesn't seem he, to have slowed down at all. He's, he's ducking and diving, bobbing and weaving. We have an equipment adjustment. This will give the fighters a bit of a breath as well. Yep. Chance to catch there. Yeah. Kian's getting some information from his corner. It must be so difficult, Eugene. You've been in the ring so many times. Yeah. How hard is it when your coach is saying, look, you got to do this, you got to do that? Because you're the guy in the fight. Yeah, right. There's been times with me when, when I first started fighting. Ten seconds. My corner was saying, low kick, low kick. And I was looking Five, at it. Four, it's, not three, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. But it did. Right. But as soon as I tried it, it worked. Sometimes it's like being a spotter for a sniper. Right, yeah. Right. The result given up to both fighters for going the distance. Well done. Well done, boys. Well done. But that it's a, whatever happens, it's a learning curve. Winner. It's a learning curve. And the judges it's a have curve. reached a unanimous See, decision. not happy. Your winner. So we had Kian In the blue from corner, Ken Lambert. Bill Lambert from toe to toe. And it looks like they've given it to Finn. And you were and you Eugene, you were saying because of a standing count. Yep.